Uh, welcome everybody. This is the Istio Community Meeting. Um, it is Thursday, November 14th, 2019. I am your host today, Jay Singer Dumars. I work at Google. And uh, we're going to go ahead and kick it off. If you want to follow along after the fact, the notes and uh, agenda are at uh, the bit.ly slash Istio Community uh, link. And we'll go from there. Um, go ahead and get started. Um, First up on the agenda is we have a light one today and we're just talking about KubeCon things happening next week. Um, <clears throat> first of all, there's a link to Service MeshCon. Uh, so if you are not aware of that happening on Monday, uh, I think you can still register. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not, but it might be. I think last time I looked it was, it was. Yeah, I think it is sold out. I had a couple of people asking me what they can do about it, but I don't, you know. If I okay. get a turn with the Google Time Machine, I'm happy to uh, share it with your friends, Lee. But no, I think that was the first one to sell out, actually. When I looked, it was the only one sold out. Not shocked. Uh, some good some good content there, and uh, Istio will definitely be well represented, which is super exciting. Um, so anyway, that's happening. You can't go, so I'm glad I can tell you, so you can just have pure FOMO if you're not going. Um, uh, the next thing you lucky people in this room can go to because it's not sold out yet because nobody knows about it except for you folks and a few select individuals. This is the one time, uh, hopefully maybe the beginning of, of a trend, but we are doing the Istio Voyage Meetup. Yes, Istio on a boat. And not only a boat, but the California Princess, and it's going to be the the hottest ticket at KubeCon, I guarantee it. Um, we will be, we'll have to employ a large bodyguard to throw people off the boat if they're not invited. So um, we'll, we'll be taking uh, volunteer opportunities for that um, soon. Uh, so <clears throat> sign up at the link that Dan Cirilli just point, uh, posted, which is handy to remember because it's istio.voyage. Um, and you can sign up now. Uh, the caveats. This is a low, uh, low capacity event, so we don't have room for a thousand people. So uh, total attendance, uh, including speakers and facilitators and whatnot, is around 100. So what we're doing is we're taking everybody on the, the list, and we're going to have to uh, hopefully not savagely prioritize, but uh, to try and um, make sure that we make room for um, a mix of maintainers and end users and the whole shebang. So we're trying to figure out how to do all that. But please sign up. Um, it's not a guarantee that you'll be invited. You'll get an email uh, after the fact when when it's formal and, and finalized. Um, hopefully uh, this weekend sometime. I, I think that the people who are in this meeting are going to be fine. My, my yeah. personal that the only thing I want to do with the with the attendees is make sure that it doesn't. I think there's about 100 people will fit on the boat. We can't have it be 50 people from Google and 50 people from IBM. Um, <laughs> that's really the only thing I, I want to make sure of that. Uh, contributors yeah. welcome, um, and uh, users of course welcome. So I think everybody in this meeting will be fine. Yeah, I think so. Rom, too. you can Rom, you can come. And I'm and I'm much less concerned about IBM than I am about Google, frankly. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of developers. Yeah, and those Googlers. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, so sign up um, if with the, the proviso that you absolutely are certain that you can make it, because the saddest thing will be if we turn someone away because somebody just didn't want to go and they signed up. So we're, we're taking signups very seriously. Um, but it's going to be a beautiful cruise. It's going to, we'll have great talks. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, roughly an hour of meetup uh, at the dock. And then after that, we'll take a nice harbor cruise and you can circulate and, and talk to maintainers and have great discussions about Istio or life or what have you. So uh, this, like I said, will be undoubtedly the most sought after uh, ticket for the entire uh, KubeCon week, in my opinion. Um, uh, you, now that this has been announced, so I can uh, send a tweet about this. Is that correct, Chase? Yep, I have for it. On. Um, let's wait until actually after this meeting so people have a chance okay. to, to sign up. I, I will do that. Uh, one tweet that should go out during this meeting, by the way, can I, can I interrupt for a sec? Of course. Uh, 1.4 is about the ship. Oh, that's um, awesome. I, I am expecting to get an instant message at any moment where someone says, okay, make the announcements. So, uh, 
Yes, that's happening as always. Thanks to everyone who contributed in any way to that, whether you uh, wrote tons of lines of code, whether you participated in testing day, whether you filed an issue that ended up getting fixed or commented on and helped other people with issues. Um, all of those are contributions. Um, and it amazes me to see how the community comes together every time. So thank you. Yeah, this is, this is really exciting. And in case you live in a hollow cave somewhere and have not had access to Twitter, media, et cetera, um, Istio is the fourth fastest growing project on GitHub. Just wrap your head around that. Um, super exciting um, and a huge uh, marker of health for this community. And also just a reminder how important the mission that we're trying to solve in the containerized world is because operators and, and DevOps and all the folks trying to manage container workloads at scale, this that's hard. And Istio is at the heart of making that a reasonable job and, and providing people with the assurances around traffic management and all that great stuff that they need to be functional in production. So this is huge kudos to this community for that. So, on the agenda, the only other thing is um, if anybody wants to meet up informally during KubeCon, um, send me a message on Slack, in the, in the Istio Slack, and I can, um, I can post to Twitter or something if we need to, just about informal meetups uh, or whatever. Um, just let me know and we can try and help coordinate any of those things that, that want to happen um, next week. Um, and that was pretty much it for KubeCon. Anybody else have any things they want to add for KubeCon next week? Are you anybody speaking? Does anybody want to share uh, uh, their sessions or? Hey, this is Ram. Um, I know I shared this before, but uh, IBM is hosting a day zero lab event or it's like ISTO 101 on uh, IBM Cloud Kubernetes service. It's, it starts Monday around 11. Um, we'll be doing lunch first and then like a short presentation and then we'll jump into the, the hands-on lab. Um, you can find it by going to the schedule and searching for day zero event. And I think it's the, it's the third one. I'll paste a link to it in the, in the community agenda as well. Great, thanks. <clears throat> Anybody else have anything you want to, to promote? Uh, I will say something about the voyage. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say thanks to Chase for, for pulling that together. Um, it feels like every every KubeCon, a few days ahead of time, someone says, hey, we should do something. And we say, oh, there's no way we could organize this week. Um, especially when someone else says, hey, you know what? We should do it on a boat. So Chase, thank you very much for all the hard work you have already put in. And I know that you will be putting in between now and Monday. Um, just so everyone knows, Monday, the I think the, the schedule right now, which you will see at istio.voyage, is uh, boarding starts at 6.30. Uh, the program will start at 7. We're going to have some pretty short talks, some lightning talks, and some, uh, some five minutes and some 10 minute talks. So pretty short talks until 8. Uh, Q&A and logistics until 8.30. Uh, at 8.30, people who want to uh, disembark can disembark if uh, going out on the water isn't your thing or if staying up isn't your thing. You didn't leave then. And then it's like 8.30 to 10 bar cruise. Uh, there will be a bar on board. It is a no host bar. So uh, bring your dollars and cents. That's great. And yeah, what I said before about 1.4 also goes for that um, state of the octaverse, the, uh, the GitHub thing. Um, we didn't know that was happening. We don't, we don't tell projects that that's happening. Uh, it, was, it was kind of amazing to, to, to think about the hundreds of thousands of projects that are on GitHub, uh, maybe it's millions. Um, and of course, even, uh, even when you just filter for the large ones, it was kind of incredible to, to see us up there that high. Um, and really, it is a measure of the number of people who have, have gotten involved, who have stepped up and said, hey, I can, I can help make this thing better over the last year. It is over the last year, by the way. It was growth. So it's 194% growth. Um, it's always unclear when people say that. I think that means it's about tripling. Uh, and that's just kind of amazing. So uh, this went from being a, a, few, a few companies uh, a year ago to 
a lot of companies, um, well over 100 companies had people contribute. Um, and we're very happy. We're very grateful. Uh, and I was just a, another couple words about 1.4. If you remember when we released 1.1, which was in March, and we said, oh, it's been nine months. It's been a long time. Um, we need to do better. We need to get new functionality out more quickly. We have to go to regular releases. We're going to go to quarter releases. That was a Q1. This indeed, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, is our fourth release of the year, one per quarter. Um, yeah, I couldn't thank anybody enough, everybody enough for that. Uh, the community has pulled together. Um, and it's not just we've done four releases. We've done lots of patches. I don't tend to be as involved in releases as they do in the patches for some reason. And seeing a bunch of people from different companies helping out and, and stepping in and coordinating to make these things happen. It's just, a, it's amazing. So uh, thanks to everybody uh, who, who participated in that. Um, it, it's really awesome to see. Uh, the quarterly release thing seems to be working well. I think we'll keep doing that for a while. Uh, yes, very, very excited. Thanks, Dan. Uh, <clears throat> so last thing on the agenda is really just open discussion. Um, I guess one, um, does anybody have anything specifically they want to talk about or bring up while we got everybody here? If, if I had, uh, if I had um, been in charge of this agenda, by the way, in addition to uh, in addition to doing all the planning he's doing this week, that they've been doing this all, all this week, Chase has also volunteered to kind of coordinate this meeting. Um, uh, if if I had thought about it ahead of time, it would have been great to have a demo ready uh, for the team to come do a demo today. Um, the thing I think is very exciting in 1.4 is uh, in Istio Cattle. Istio Cattle. I think we should call it Istio Cattle. Uh, Istio Cattle Analyze. Um, it is a set of commands that can help you figure out what's wrong with the configuration in your system. You know, service entries that point to nowhere, ports that don't have names, things like that. Um, and can also analyze static uh, YAML, can also analyze static YAML compared to what's running in the system. So if I submit this, what's going to happen? Um, it's your cuddle analyze. It's an ex it's, it's a really, really cool set of features. Um, and it is just part of Istio Kettle. So they are actually able to continually improve that and, and release that. You don't, you don't need, they don't need to wait for a whole Istio. So they're probably going to be releasing that very frequently, just adding functionality as it comes in. Um, if you have had trouble figuring out what's wrong with YAML, this is an awesome tool for it. So that's the thing I'm most excited about in, uh, in Windows. Um, there was one uh, just housekeeping announcement, which is um, in Slack, we're asking people to put their company name after their names, their display name. Um, there was a little bit of a little bit of pushback on that. It's like, why? Well, the, the reason is that um, it just makes it easier to help identify end users that need help. And when we're helping multiple people to be able to remember, oh, you work at this company, which helps trigger uh, synapses along the way to say, oh yeah, that was the, this thing that you were having and blah, blah, blah. It helps uh, sort of speed uh, the ability to tie uh, user stories to, to, the, to the work being done. So if you haven't done so already, if you could put your name on, um, on your, your Slack for your company, or if it's confidential, um, some, some users can't disclose that, the company they work for, just put confidential in, in parents so that people People know. So you you want it in the name, not just in the like the the what I do section of profile. Yeah, I mean the we can make it a click through, but it's kind of a kind of annoying. Um, so just putting putting it in parentheses by your name is best. If you can. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks. Um, any other things before we give you forty two minutes of your life back? I will wait just a few minutes before I um, send a tweet announcing the, um, the sign up. So yes, please, if, if you think if that's what you want to spend your Monday night doing, uh, go to istio.voyage right now and uh, 
and register. Again, you'll receive emails later with uh, with all the details on where you go and when. Yeah. Is there like a KubeCon Slack or anything, or Slack channel or anything like that? Um, I don't think there is one. Um, I think it's a good idea, might, though. Yeah. yeah, might be might be fun to have one for people attending to share stuff or hey, cool thing going on or can he, is there anyone here who can I can talk to about? I hundred percent agree. Yes. Jake, do you know how to make that happen? Uh, I'm trying it right now. Fancy. Uh, do I, do uh, I okay. bug for an invite to the Slack? Um, uh, it's so on the site. It's a KubeCon NA19. So and, and, uh, let me look for, for the directions on the slide. Did you say you did create it? Yep, it is created. Apparently, I have the power. Oh, wait. I, I, can't, I, I can't see the directions. If you, if you go to the Istio site on the bottom, there's a little Slack icon. Click on that. Um, if you're in Istio Slack, it'll take you to Istio Slack. And if you're not, it should take you directly. Oh, yeah, it just says you need an invite from someone. That's weird. It says drafts. That's super weird. I've never seen that before. Oh, now it should be working. I, I see the channel. Jace, how does someone get the, the invite? Um, it should just automatically be open. Um, let me see what the deal is. It says google.com, redhead.com, and cisco.com. Uh, you can create an account. Otherwise, you need an invite. Um, genius channel description. Echo genius channel private. Rename. Huh. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I don't know what kind of mystery is happening there or why it's not open. <clears throat> well, okay. I hate to do this, but anybody who wants to be in there, just message me and I'll, uh, I'll add you. <clears throat> Or if anybody else, uh, if anybody else wants to as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Okay. All right. Matt, you have a invite. Um, okay. Um, I guess. That's pretty much it then. Cool. We got a, a rallying place. We can do a, an informal meetup then. Um, Tuesday or Wednesday, which would be fun. We can hook everybody up and get some good conversations going. Um, anything else before we adjourn? All right. Thank you, everybody. All right, great. Um, you all are amazing and uh, doing great work. And we'll see you uh, hopefully next week. All right. Hope to see everybody. Looking forward to it. Thanks. All right. Bye, everyone.